Hey everyone, I'm going to give you a word bomb from Romans chapter 8 today, starting in verse 5. It says this, Those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires, but those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. The mind governed by the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. Those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. We are in a season that is um, challenging. The word we keep hearing is unprecedented. We've got COVID-19, and now uh, we're dealing with the injustice of um, what happened to George Floyd and um, the results that have come after that. And it's just a challenging season uh, when things like racism are brought back to the forefront. And uh, many of us struggle to kind of deal with like, what's our role in the midst of this season? And how do we face a world that is so um, chaotic? And I just felt like the Lord was really just bringing me to this text and reminding me that the mindset on the flesh is hostile to God. Like it is imperative that we as believers allow the Holy Spirit to give us direction and leadership in this season. There's, there's a part of this verse that just absolutely brought me a sense of comfort. And I already read it, but it's in verse 6. The second part says, The mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. If I was preaching a service, I'd say, How many of you want life and peace? I'd say, Raise your hand, because I just like to do that when we are, uh, when we're in service in person. I, I like to do that. It's fun. And it's fun to see those who don't like to raise their hand no matter what you say. But I think many of us are craving life and peace. We're craving the things that come for God, from God. And we're believing, like we groan to see uh, God's perfect will revealed in this earth. And, and we're crying out for justice. And we, and, and we want all this to happen. And, and it's easy to try to take matters into our own hands and start... Um, saying things and operating in the flesh. But my prayer and my desire is that I would be a person who operates in the Spirit. That uh, we as believers, we would function by the power of the Holy Spirit. As believers in Christ, if you have your faith in Jesus Christ, verse 10 of the same chapter, verse 8 says, But if Christ is in you, then, even though your body is subject to death because of sin, the Spirit gives life because of righteousness. If Christ is in you, the Spirit of God lives in you. If you have faith in Christ, the Spirit of God lives in you. And he longs for the things, uh, he longs for righteousness and peace and joy to, to permeate and saturate um, every person who walks the earth. And so I just want to encourage you, um, to take a step back today and say, God, give me the wisdom that only comes from you. Help me to function in a way that you desire me to function. And um, actually, I just want to kind of flip and, and I just want to pray for you. I want to pray that God would give you um, just a, a, a fresh infilling of his Holy Spirit today, that he would give you his peace, that he would give you his outlook, that he would help you notice. Maybe there are those right now that are struggling with all the chaotic circumstances that each one of us are facing. I, I, I'm going to pray that God would help us to see uh, the needs around us and help us to function in his spirit. So, Father, I pray in Jesus' name for each of us today, that we would function in your spirit. God, that we would be led by your spirit. God, that we would have words from you that bring life and peace. God, I thank you that none of this takes you by surprise. None of this is um, beyond your 
um, scope of understanding. You're not wringing your hands wondering how to function and how to respond to your people. God, you desire to bring your will into full fruition in this earth. And you desire to eradicate hate and you desire to eradicate uh, this virus, I believe that with all my heart. God, you um, d desire to bring peace. You desire to bring justice. God, you love each person in this world. And God, you desire that all would know you and be saved by the power and the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. I thank you, God, for your will. And we, we agree with it for our city, for this nation, and for each individual. And Lord, help us to be people that are led by your Spirit each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful rest of the day.